For the most part of this year, we've been building the hull on our 50 foot boat. In the beginning of September, you unmounted the last cedar strip, and that was a really big milestone. After a lot of preparations, we recently started laminating the hull with fiberglass. We came up with a better solution of doing it and built a saturation table that we tried out last week. The winter wonderland continues and we have the coolest thing out here where we live. We have our own cross country skiing tracks. It's our neighbors. They are really big enthusiasts uh, within this sport and they make tracks on their land. So we have like, I think it's uh, six and a half kilometers of tracks that you can go. So my dad came out to us uh, earlier today and now we're here. He loves cross country skiing. Vera tried it as well. It's a lot of fun. I haven't done it since I was uh, a child. It's really good workout. <laughs> it's uh, such a lovely day today. It's uh, pretty unbelievable that we are in South Sweden and having this weather there's absolutely no wind so quiet and so much snow see they go here i love it We started a new work week with a full day of laminating. So it's Monday evening. I'm out here in the barn preparing for tomorrow. I'm cutting some fiberglass, measuring epoxy. Uh, we didn't film much today. Me and Molly have been working all day. Uh, we got, uh, we had a kind of a late start, but we got, uh, managed to get four pieces under today. And tomorrow we hope we can start a bit uh, earlier, so we can, the plan is to get six pieces under tomorrow. And if we can manage that, that means that we're past 25% um, of a fully laminated hull. It's pretty cold outside tonight, it's around uh, minus six Celsius. So we have the electrical heater running. Right now we have around 14 degrees in here. This morning it was very cold, around minus 10. So that's why we couldn't start until a bit later, since we had to run the, all the heaters for quite a while to heat up the hall and the, yeah, the whole barn. But it's supposed to be a bit milder tomorrow. So we, I hope we can uh, get going a bit earlier. This is how it will look now. For the coming weeks a lot of work during daytime and preparing in the evening lots of work uh, but at least i think the progress is very good i mean we have already reached a quarter so it's definitely faster than the planking process
So this is number 24 and the next one will be number 25. And there's around 50 lengths of fiberglass per side uh, on the hull. Um, so in terms of lengths of fiberglass, number 25 means that we have done a quarter uh, of the lengths on the hull, but a lot more of the surface area. Since we're getting closer to the bow of the boat, um, each uh, length of fiberglass will be shorter, so less surface. So we have reached the widest part of the hull. Uh, so every piece from now on moving forward on the hull will be uh, a smaller piece. So in theory that should mean that we will be, will be able to saturate them faster and get more pieces under uh, during a working day. So another benefit I found with using the saturation table is that it's much more consistent in how much epoxy you get uh, in each and every piece. Um, because it's so much easier to just calculate the area and then mix up that amount of epoxy and then just pour it out there and let it soak. Uh, and that way each and every piece get the same amount of epoxy per square meter. Uh, so you have a more consistent laminate that way and also a lot less waste since you can mix up exactly the amount of epoxy that you know that you're going to need to saturate that cloth. So we're getting ready for uh, another day of uh, laminating. Um, it's a bit milder outside today, but it's windy, so it feels as cold as it was yesterday. We removed the peel ply from the last layer and started laminating. For every cloth, we got more and more into the groove, trying which technique works best and what pace we could have. The saturation table really made the whole job much less stressful and less tiresome. And now we had a really good workflow. So we're just back from lunch and now it's time for session number two today. We managed to get uh, three pieces on the hull uh, before lunch and uh, we hope to do the same now um, during the afternoon. Come on, 
much fun for the third class now. We need to change the plastic on the table first. The last piece for the day, number six. Very good progress today. So now it's just getting the air bubbles out, get some peel ply on, and then it's time to make the preparations for tomorrow. New batches of epoxy, new lengths of fiberglass, so we can do the same all over again tomorrow. The evening shift has started. This is how we're, we're planning our days now. In the daytime, we work together, laminating the hull. And then in the evenings, after Vera has gone to bed, I go out here and prepare for tomorrow. Uh, I have sanded the hull now, and I'm going to wipe it down with some, uh, or yeah, use a tack cloth on the hull. And then I'm going to wipe it down with some alcohol. It's very windy outside tonight, but at least the temp has gone up a, li a little bit. It's around zero degrees at the moment. The downside is that this wind creates a lot of snow drift. So the road leading up to the farm, uh, you, you can't see it anymore. So I uh, took the car and uh, parked it at, at our neighbor's place, because otherwise I don't think we can get out tomorrow with the car. <laughs> Uh, at times like these, you, you start to think maybe we should get another type of car, like a 4x4 with big wheels, because uh, the Volvo is not very good when we have a lot of snow like this. So I'm using this uh, length of paper just to get the feel for how the fiberglass length will fall on the hull. Just to make it a little bit easier to plan out how long I should cut the fiberglass length, but also uh, to put a line on the hull that we can follow when we roll the fiberglass out. And that way, that makes it a lot easier to get the correct overlap all along the joint all the way from up there to down here. And this tilt, it changes over the length of the hull since the shape of the hull changes. Uh, so not one piece is the same as the next one. And the ones in the middle, they were almost straight since we're yeah, at the widest part of the hull. But now when we're past the the widest part, they start to tilt backward, and before it was the opposite. The next morning, Johan had to walk with Vera to get to our car and bring her to kindergarten. And the weather was really gnarly. Our road was now covered in snow 
and not even the plower could fix it. Got to go. Yeah. This is the first plow for today, and we realized that this one needs uh, a bit more epoxy since it's the first one, and that hull is dry. So we're giving it some extra epoxy right now. We're almost done. We had such a good workflow now, that we both just wanted to continue and do more and more. But we can only laminate three days a week, because then I need to edit the videos and then it's the weekend. We both knew exactly who does what now, and the work just went so smooth. After the fifth cloth, we ended with a layer of peel ply, and we're done for the day. So, here we have it, the result of uh, this week's work. I'm really pleased with the progress. We have reached uh, one third of a fully laminated outside of the hull. Um, let me show you how it looks up on top. And then you see what's left here on the, in the bow section. Of course, the pieces are getting smaller now when we're reaching the bow, making the progress a bit faster. Um, so this progress we've been having now, uh, this means that we, it will take us roughly 200 man hours to get the fully uh, laminated outside of the hull. And since it's uh, both me and Malin doing this, it means that we can do the whole outside in uh, 100 hours. Uh, one thing I, I don't count into that is the preparations, however, and that also takes quite some time. Uh, I would say maybe 30, 40 hours in just preparations. I'm really pleased with the progress. And a lot of that is thanks to that saturation table. So I'm so pleased that we found that solution. It really uh, has helped us a lot and without that we would have been really worn down by now and probably not this far and besides the preparations there's another thing that I'm leaving out as well and that's that we're going to get a fifth layer on top of all of this later on with the twill weave a really fine fiberglass weave that we'll put on top of this pretty rough 600 gram mat and we'll put that on top to prevent any print through um, but we'll do that in one go over the whole uh, hull. Some of you guys have asked us what we're going to do with inside of the hull so let me go in there and show you. So the inside of the hull pretty big right? <laughs> I'm so looking forward to when the hull is flipped over and we can start working in here. On the inside, we will uh, have something similar as we have on the outside, but in here we will have um, three layers of uh, 600 gram mat. On the outside we have four, so one layer less. And no twill weave, and we don't need to do any fairing, at least not the same way as we do on the outside. So it will be a true sandwich hull, 
And uh, of course, after we have done the lamination in here, there's other things that will take longer, like we're, we need to make a grid uh, to support the keel and reinforcement for the chain plates, uh, tabbing the bulkheads in a correct way. Uh, but that's really, then we're in a, another phase of the build. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. It will be so cool to walk around in here once all these temporary frames are gone and you can really see the volume that we're going to build our future home in. So that's all we have for this week. We uh, hope you enjoyed watching us working for another week. <laughs> and uh, a massive thank you to all of our patrons for supporting our videos. Uh, it really, really makes a difference and makes this whole thing possible to shoot the videos and yeah, this whole project really. So thanks a lot. Uh, and if you would like to support our videos, you can head over to our Patreon page. Uh, we also have a merch store where you can um, yeah, buy some merch. And if you're a patron, you will get 10% off. So see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.